everyone. You can see here, I'm going to solve a column with a link support. So you can see here, link support at 30 kN load is acting at an angle of 36.87 degree, degrees. So this is the loading diagram. So first, in order to um, analyze any structure, you need to know whether it is statically determinate or indeterminate. So in order to check for the determinacy, I'm going to apply certain rules. So you can see this is a hinge support. So it has two reaction components. This looks like hinge, but it is a leak support. So it will have only one reaction component. And the number of equilibrium equations is also three. That is sigma h is equal to zero, sigma v is equal to zero, and sigma n is equal to zero. So three is equal to three. So this structure is statically determinate. If you find this method confusing, I'll tell you one more method. Uh, that is by using the formulae. So that is 3m plus r is equal to 3j plus c. So you can see number of members is 2. 1, 2. AC and BG. So 3 into 2. As I already mentioned, reaction is 2 plus 1, 3. And the number of joint is 1, 2 and 3. So 3 into 3. There is no conditional equations here. So it is 0. So 9 is equal to 9. So this structure is statically determinate. In order to analyze the structure, I need to draw the free body diagram of the structure. Free body diagram is nothing but simply the removal of the support and only showing the load acting on it. So I have resolved 30 kN load into its respective components, so which I got the values as 18 and 24. So I'm assuming that the reaction component VA and VV are acting vertically upward. That is my assumption. Uh, so, and the reaction component HB is acting towards the right. So, now uh, I need to take the moment about the point A or B is equal to 0. So, for simplicity, I have um, taken the moment about the point B is equal to 0. Uh, so, I am assuming clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. First of all, VA into 12. So, VA, this is giving clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance is 12. So, VA into 12. 18 into 0. Why? Because this is acting in the line of action. So it will give no perpendicular distance. So 18 into 0 minus 24 into 24. So it is acting anti-clockwise and the perpendicular distance is 24. So 24 into 24 and at B it's acting in the same point. So it will also give 0. So I get VA as 48 kN. My assumption is correct. It is acting vertically upward. Now I need to calculate VV. For that, I'll use another equation of equilibrium, that is sigma v is equal to 0. So v a plus v v both acting upward, minus 18 which is acting downward. So substituting the value of v a is equal to 48 kN, I get the value of v v as 30 kN which is negative. So um, now um, uh, what I need to do is, I need to find the force a c, means uh, member a c, for, uh, force in the member a c. So I already got uh, reaction v a is equal to 48 kN. So if I divide this 48 by sine 45, because this is true, this is true, simply this is 45 degree. So divided by sine 45, I'll get 68, 67.88 kilonewton. So the member, this member is having a force of 67.88 kilonewton. So now again, if we resolve it, we'll get 67.88 into sine 45. If I do, I will get 48, which, which is the same. So this is 48 acting towards the right. Now, in order to find HB, I'll take sigma h is equal to 0. So hb is acting rightward, that is positive, minus 24, leftward, negative, plus 48. That is again acting rightward, positive. So I'll get the value of hb as minus 24 kN, which is negative. So um, our assumption is not correct. 24 kN will act towards the left side. Now in order to draw AFT, SFT and BMT, I found all the forces. In order to draw AFT, SFT and BMT, I will draw, first of all, I will make the free body diagram with all the loadings. So, as you can see, this 18 kN load is acting downward, 48 kN load is acting upward. So, in order to balance it, I need 30 kN upward and remaining 18 kN upward. So, it is giving compression as you can clearly see. So, the axial force diagram shows compression that is negative. I have assumed compression as negative and tension as positive. So this is 30 upward and this 30 is downward. So it is pulling. So it is tension. So I have assumed it is at positive. So 30 is tension. And this member, in order to balance this 67.89, another 67.89 will be acting like this. So this will be 67.89. That is also compression. So it is also negative. Now in order to draw the shear force diagram, uh, I need to have a, I also make certain assumptions. That is upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. So if you, uh, if you tilt the member like this, 
simply you will get shear force angle 24 kilo newton is acting upward so it is positive so it will go straight as there is no another any loading it will go straight again there is a drop 48 kilo newton downward so in order to go 48 downward 24 you should go in this ordinate and 24 in this ordinate so it is 48 now again you go straight and again here a load of 24 kilo newton is acting so it is going to be zero here so at this point is zero so our our shear force diagram is also correct so in order to draw the bending moment diagram i'll simply take hogging moments as uh, negative and sagging moment as positive so this moment is sagging so it is positive so it will um, so 24 into 12 if you do you will get 288 kN meter which is the bending moment diagram as there is no any uh, difficult kind of loading this is simple loading so you will get triangular bending moment diagram so with this i have completed the analysis of the structure i would like to say thank you